Are you saddened by the fact that you had the best tacos of your life while on vacation and won't get to enjoy them when you return home? If so, perhaps someday soon that taco chain will open a location near you. One taco joint that has recently made waves in the news is Taco John's. The creators of this restaurant were visionaries in a way. They trademarked the popular phrase Taco Tuesday way back in 1989. Taco Bell has since gone on a mission to liberate the phrase for use, even recruiting basketball star LeBron James. But Taco John's CEO Jim Creel isn't backing down. He wrote in a statement, I'd like to thank our worthy competitors at Taco Bell for reminding everyone that Taco Tuesday is best celebrated at Taco John's. Creel told Inside Edition that the term originated with one of their franchisees who was doing a buy one get one free promo. Start out Taco Tuesday, TWO. Taco John's currently has almost 400 locations across 23 states and is looking to push further into America's heart. According to Nation's Restaurant News, the Wyoming-born taco restaurant is even planning a big expansion, along with a makeover for its menu. Over the next three years, it plans on opening 80 stores, with several already slated to open in areas like Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Louisville, Kentucky, and Grand Rapids, Michigan. If you live on the west coast of the United States, you are probably very familiar with Del Taco. The Mexican-American joint is known for things like its fish tacos, three-layer nachos, and breakfast burritos, as well as options like burgers and french fries. Founded in 1964 in California, it was purchased by San Diego-based Jack in the Box Inc. in 2021 for $585 million. At the time of the purchase, Del Taco had around 600 restaurants in 16 states, making it the second largest Mexican fast food chain behind Taco Bell. After the acquisition, Jack in the Box CEO Darren Harris said, this is a natural combination of two like-minded challenger brands with outstanding growth opportunities. Since then, Del Taco has introduced several plans to expand. According to QSR Magazine, the taco chain has signed deals for more than 68 stores to open, with at least seven of the restaurants opening in Florida, in areas like Orlando, Tampa Bay, and Palm Beach. Looks like Del Taco won't just be a West Coast thing much longer. Rusty Taco is a Dallas-born taco shop that started in 2010 and was named after its founder, Rusty Fenton. The restaurant was inspired by a humble fish taco that Rusty ate on the side of the street after a day of fishing in Acapulco, Mexico. Since opening, the friendly neighborhood taco joint has gained the backing of Inspire Brands, the parent company of Arby's, and has set its sights on significant growth. The company has already signed several franchise agreements to expand in states like Utah, Virginia, Nevada, and other locations in Texas. But Brendan Mari, president of Rusty Taco, is already thinking bigger. He believes if Rusty Taco expands strategically, there's potential to grow by 40 to 50 new stores per year, saying, I think our brand could really play well almost anywhere. And tacos and margaritas and amazing queso are such a broad appeal and a growing category. Capital Tacos is a Tex-Mex joint that prides itself on making the highest quality tacos with no shortcuts. And that has helped the upstart chain rake in some pretty high-level reviews, like a top three taco in America rating by Business Insider. Debuting in Land Lakes, Florida, the chain has since opened several more stores in the state. That's only the beginning, however. It's diving deeper into the world of franchising, targeting markets in states like Louisiana, Missouri, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Arkansas, Tennessee, Alabama, and of course, Florida. Josh Luger, Capital Taco's operating partner and co-owner said, we've had literally hundreds of requests over the years from guests who have visited our stores locally across Florida and from states across the country, asking if and how they can bring capital to their hometown. The owners of Capital listened to the request, so get ready to start seeing exciting items like the fried avocado taco, battered fish bowls, and hot chicken burritos near you soon. We make everything in-house every single day, so it's really a labor of love. If you haven't heard of Taco Cabana, that's probably because you're not based in Texas. Although the Taco Joint has around 150 stores, almost all of them are situated in the Lone Star State. The restaurant was originally founded by a man named Felix Staling in the late 1970s in an old abandoned Dairy Queen. Staling eventually started painting the buildings pink at new locations to catch people's attention, and to this day, customers still think of pink whenever Taco Cabana comes to mind. Although it's been around for a while, the taco chain was recently acquired by Yadav Enterprises for $85 million in 2021, 
and owner Anil Yadav has big plans for it. He wants to open more than a thousand stores over the next five to ten years outside of Texas. Yadav understands the brand is a regional legacy, but he sees it becoming a national brand and household name. To bolster its Tex-Mex menu, new items have been added and they've also expanded their array of alcoholic beverages. It has even stepped into Taco Bell's territory by introducing its own take on the Mexican pizza, the Double Crunch Pizza. Don't be surprised if you find a Taco Cabana on your street in the near future. California natives are probably familiar with Chronic Tacos, a taco joint that was first opened on the beaches of Orange County by partners Randy Weiner and Daniel Biello. They were inspired by the taquerias where they grew up eating, and they wanted to create a spot where people could hang out. The taco shop soon became famous for its 13-inch Monster Burritos, and even partnered with a hot sauce company to host an eating contest called the Gringo Bandito Chronic Tacos Challenge. After Chronic Taco's first store in Newport Beach, they opened a second location in Huntington Beach, and by 2006, they had started franchising. That led to burnout, and the partners ultimately sold the company. But five years later, Weiner bought it back and got to work upgrading the chain and branching out to fresh markets with new franchisees, including Jackass star Wee Man. Yes, we have vegan, okay. we have plant-based meat, we have potato tacos, awesome. we have everything for everybody. You as of 2023, there are over 50 chronic tacos across the United States, Canada, and Japan. But Weiner is aiming for 300 to 500 stores worldwide, so expect some California beach culture to pop up around the world in the coming years. Bubba Coo's Burritos is a Mexican-American fusion that was born in 2008 in Point Pleasant, New Jersey. The goal for this burrito joint was simple, to give local customers the most delicious and affordable Mexican fusion food around. Co-founders Bill Hart and Paul Altero dedicated their restaurants to providing the best service possible. Although the chain grew modestly and slowly in the beginning, Bubba Coo's Burritos exploded over the past five years and now has more than 100 stores across 16 states. But it isn't going to stop there. The founders are aiming to have around 500 restaurants in the next five years. Altero told app.com, We are starting to walk right now with a few franchisees. We would like to start running. Although the founders are well aware of the competition in the space, with restaurants like Taco Bell and Chipotle dominating the market, Altero is confident that Bubbacoo's menu sets them apart. There are not a lot of places you're going to get a cooked-to-order hibachi steak and shrimp burrito. It's our offerings that are so unique that brings you back, coupled with our service. In the last few years, the burrito chain has expanded into new states, including Ohio, Nevada, Tennessee, Illinois, Kentucky, Connecticut, and Maryland. The company even made an appearance on Entrepreneur's Franchise 500 list. Torchy's Tacos started out of a food trailer connected to a red Vespa in the bustling city of Austin, Texas. Founder Michael Ripka rolled around the city, spreading his delicious experimental tacos, and the rest was history. Since then, the chain has grown to over 90 locations in 14 states, but CEO G.J. Hart has said they want to open at least 160 stores across 15 states in the coming years. The taco joint prides itself on its super creative, quote, damn good tacos, like the trailer park taco, green chili pork, fried avocado, and Baja shrimp, as well as several different breakfast tacos. It also serves burritos, queso, and side dishes like street corn. Torchies is focusing on pushing into less saturated markets for now before eventually pushing into heavily tacoed areas like New York, Boston, or California. Soon, people all around the country will get to taste those famous Austin tacos for themselves. And who knows, if you eat there, you may bump into a president or two. I ordered a Democrat. But then I ordered a Republican and an independent. Ponchero's traces its history all the way back to the college town of Iowa City in 1992. Rodney Anderson positioned his humble taco joint right next to the popular bars on the street filled with students looking to unwind for the weekend. Although Mexican food wasn't as popular as it is today, Rodney believed in his Chicago-style burritos, and he was right, the burritos became a hit. Soon, Anderson began to expand beyond the college market into surrounding areas, and Poncheros became famous for their hot and fresh tortillas. Filled with the freshest ingredients, the burritos were so structurally sound that they could stand up on their own. Over the years, Poncheros has steadily grown its cult-like following into the national scene. The restaurant boasts more than 70 locations across 13 states through mostly organic growth. 
In 2021, Joe Gale was introduced as the chain's director of franchise development, with plenty of experience from successful brands like Coca-Cola. Since then, the burrito spot has opened new stores in Moline, Illinois, and Cherry Hill, New Jersey. It looks like more are on the horizon as well. Uberito, formerly known as Mission Burrito, is a Mexican-American chain that focuses on incredibly fresh ingredients and the power of selection. According to its website, you can choose from four different kinds of tortillas, three kinds of beans, and five different kinds of proteins. Combine that with 21 different toppings like sautéed spinach and sliced avocado, and you've got a burrito that fits you perfectly. The combinations are always different, but one thing that the burritos always have in common is the highest quality ingredients available. Although the chain only has a few locations currently, it is planning to open 15 to 20 new restaurants every year in states like Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, Georgia, Florida, Illinois, Minnesota, and South Carolina. To support the franchise's growth, the chain is going to be focusing on consumers who are on the go, as 66% of the business's sales come off-site. Future store designs will be smaller, but they will include double drive through lanes with mobile ordering available. Getting a massively customized burrito from the comfort of your car seems like something most Americans would love. Back in 2006, founder Dario Wolos bought a VW bus and took it all the way to the beach town of Playa del Carmen, where he converted it into a beachside taco stand. Four years later, the owners moved their taco stand into a garage in downtown New York to open up their first Tacombi location. Since then, new neighborhood franchises have popped up in Miami and Washington, D.C. as well. In 2021, Tacombi got the backing of Enlightened Hospitality Investments, which provided it with $27.5 million in funding so it could expand. The restaurant is aiming to hit 75 new stores while growing its packaged goods line, which is already available in places like Whole Foods. The chain prides itself on bringing the most authentic Mexican flavors to Americans. Who needs a beachside vacation when Tacombi can bring it to your neighborhood? Fuzzy's Taco Shop was founded back in 2001 in Fort Worth, Texas, near Texas Christian University. To cater to its student customers, the shop served delicious, inexpensive Baja tacos. Since its early days as a neighborhood hangout for college kids, the brand has expanded to more than 150 locations across 18 states. Recently, it was acquired by Dine Brands Global for $80 million in cash, which also owns brands like Applebee's and IHOP. According to QSR Magazine, Fuzzy's long-term goal is to double in size within the next five years, up to 300 locations. The main markets the restaurant is targeting are Colorado, Missouri, Texas, Oklahoma, and Alabama.